it's like literally right in front of us. Oh my gosh, if I had my kids with me, they'd be obsessed right now. They love trains. That's weird, I've never ever had to stop here because of a train, but anyway. Hey guys, I'm in the car now, obviously. Thought I would do a little update because this morning did not go as planned at all. Alright, let me set my camera here. But anyway, I am driving to get a holiday drink. I just got in the car. It's focused on the steering wheel, isn't it? I don't think that's the... Hopefully the tracking stays on me, but a lot of times the steering wheel will move and it wants to focus on the steering wheel. I'm driving to get a holiday drink. I know that I have my fancy schmancy espresso machine at home that I absolutely love, but I just wanted to get out of the house by myself. My husband has been, okay, sir, what are you doing? Do you not see me? You literally could have just hit my corner. Not cool at all. Um, blind spots, guys. Check your blind spots. Anyway, as I was saying, my husband has been working nonstop almost every single day for the past like three months, I want to say. And now that he's finally off, I'm like, I'm just going to go. I don't know. I'm not buying anything. I don't need anything. I don't even need coffee. But we are just going to leave the house, drive in silence. Sometimes you need those breaks. Like at home, it's not possible. I have three kids. It's just, I, work, I do everything from home. So for me, it is so necessary to get away by myself as much as we all love our kids don't get me wrong i know somebody out there is like well I, like there's just so many things that people can say but i'm not complaining i'm just saying like sometimes you just you need to get out of the house by yourself so that is where we are at that's why i'm gonna go to starbucks there's actually not a lot of people here today grab a holiday drink it is 10 o'clock in the morning it's almost 11 already and then i think i'm just gonna go to Home Goods, see if they have, I do need like dish soap, not dish soap, surface cleaner for the kitchen. I completely ran out out of all of them. I've used up all the ones that I had. So I need that. And what else do I need? I feel like I need something else. I'll try to remember. I just got to Home Goods, giving this, I already tried it because I posted to my stories, but it's not bad. It's like, I don't really like, um, almond milk to begin with so I was never really an almond milk person maybe if I got it with oat milk because the sugar cookie flavor seems like it has it has potential by the way I have these temps on from Inkbox I mentioned them before in a video these are not permanent I don't think if I I'm obsessed with um, like tiny teeny tiny finger tattoos lately but I don't think I would do this permanently because I feel like 20 years down the line or even 10 5 I'd be like eh, I'm over it so for now, Inkbox is a great alternative for me. It just lets, I don't know, I feel like it's fun. I know some people are probably like having a heart attack out there. But for me, I don't know. So I'm just going to go stroll through Home Goods, blah, 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 Home Goods and see. Maybe they have, even have um, like surface cleaners because I know they have like a whole cleaning section. By the way, loving this purse. I'm looking to get one for my mom from Bags Inc. I just don't really know what her style is. Like for Christmas, it takes about two weeks to come in, I wanna say. So give yourself at least two weeks. Yeah, that's that. Just thought I would update you guys as to what's going on because I am vlog trying to vlog every day. And even though some vlogs are super, like we're not really doing anything yet because my husband's super busy, I mentioned this. And I've just been sitting around the house doing regular life stuff. Life stuff usually isn't pretty interesting. But I figured I'll vlog it anyway. Maybe somebody can relate. So let's go check out the home goods. Back home now, I'm gonna try making a little like half wreath for this mirror here. It might be too much since I have these. Maybe I'll trim them down and see how it looks. Put it here, maybe put one behind me on that picture there above the piano, but we'll see. I just picked some evergreens from outside and give it a try. I just used fishing wire to kind of like secure a bunch of branches together and then these clear clips. I'll show you guys at the table. They're essentially command hooks for the ceiling if you ever want to hang stuff like woolen garland, whatever. But um, I might fill some more in, but just adds like a nice Christmassy touch to the entryway. This one, this, there's already a lot going on though, I will say, so I might get rid of this i don't know if it gets a bit excessive or make it even smaller we'll see but that is that super simple super easy super easy super easy guys you just grab evergreens from outside 
fishing wire, some hooks. Let me actually show you the hooks right now. Got to clean up this hot mess. There are these hooks here, and they are for the ceiling, but I, you can use them on the wall as well. And I just kind of like hang branches on them. That way, the garland is nice and secure on the mirror. And I've been doing this second year in a row, and it works very well. My husband came home with some uh, Russian kolbaski. European type um, meats and stuff. But I'm gonna make myself another latte. I ended up dumping this one out. It was like half full. I don't know, I just don't like almond milk. I'm not an almond milk kind of person, so next time I'll have to try oat milk. I got this using a gift card. Such a waste, guys. <laughs> Makes me so sad. But I'm gonna make myself a latte and I have a meeting at three. Every Monday at three, I have a Zoom call that I go to uh, am part of. I ended up giving uh, the Starbucks latte to my husband while well, the one in the Starbucks version making one shot for myself. Since he's going to work in the garage, that one had two shots, so it's probably better <laughs> that we swapped anyway. But I have about four meetings, four meetings. I have about four minutes until the Zoom meeting. I did have a few of you respond about the gel situation and I have researched in the past when I first started getting itchy cuticles. I mentioned in a previous vlog that, this camera's like all crooked, that whenever I started, this is very recent, but like for the past several months, occasionally, no, this actually has been every time that I would do my nails, I would get really itchy and inflamed cuticles. They wouldn't be like, sometimes you see, you see the photos online and it, was, it wasn't that bad, but it was enough for it would like bother me so bad and I felt like I had to itch them constantly just to get some relief. It was just super annoying. And I noticed it again this time, especially around the thumb. It's not like every finger, so it's kind of weird. And I have read about hema, a hema allergy in terms of the, uh, what was it? What was it again? The ma -ma 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 -ma. monomers that they use. And they say that sometimes monomers can be present in gel as well. Very small traces. The gel base coat that I use from Madame Glam is supposed to be hema free. I know that some people will get this reaction when they use acrylics and when they get their acrylics done. It says hema free. I'm gonna try a different one, see if I can find one that's like hema free. Maybe I developed an allergy to it. It's just, it can get super irritating and super itchy, but let me log into my Zoom meeting and get that out of the way. It's only three o'clock. By the time that's done, it'll be four. It's basically midnight. And then I do want to get a workout in. Alright, I changed into some workout clothes. My husband took all three kids with him. A friend of his texted him to come over with the kids. They're going to have, like, I guess, like a daddy's day, whatever. I was like, yes! Times like, what do I do with myself now? Do I watch a Christmas movie? Do I take a nap? Like, the possibilities, you guys, the things that I can actually I want to get a workout in for a workout. I love using the Fit On app. If you guys haven't tried it, download it. They have so many great workouts that you can do from home. I personally love working out from home. I don't have a home gym, but I like doing workouts that keep me active, keep me, you know, strong, just my ability to move my body. Um, so I'm not looking for anything crazy. I've used so many different home guides. I used the Tone and Sculpt app. I tried the Peloton app. I loved both of them. This one is completely free. You can get the pro version if you wanted to for like certain courses, stuff like that. But for the most part, I would say a lot of the workouts, if not all of them, that they give you are free. You get to choose between so many different kinds. I personally love the hit and the kickboxing. Those are like my two favorites. I have been loving kickboxing, I've loved it in the past. Just workouts, so like I love hit, quick, burn as many calories as possible, get stronger, challenge you, push your limits, keep you pushing, and the reason why I love these is because you're kind of working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, or at least it seems that way because they're pre-recorded, and they motivate you, they encourage you to keep pushing, don't give up even if you want to, so you're not just going through like a workout looking okay what do i do next no this is like almost like live where you're doing it together and it's just so much more motivating in my opinion so that's why i love these workouts so i'm trying to pick one out you can choose intensity just, just so many different kinds cardio boxing Ooh, that sounds fun let me try that that was actually a really good workout if you are looking for an app to work out from home i think that's a great 
free app because I have paid for Peloton, I have paid for Tone and Sculpt. Peloton was great because it was very similar. We had like the live instructor. Um, and I feel like that's just so motivating if you need that push to keep going during your workouts like I do. A lot of times you want to give up. I personally love HIT workouts. I don't like like the long 40 minute cardio workouts. That's not my vibe, but I'm sure they have that as well. They have so many different things. They have stretching. They have some great stretching ones. Just so many different workouts for you to choose from. So check that app out. Not sponsored. I've just been using it for a month or so, probably two months at this point, and I think it's just such a great app. Now, now it's like, what do I do? Do I watch a Christmas movie since my kids are not home, or do I do some work? I have a feeling the Christmas movie is going to win. But this week, today's what? Well, today's Monday. I'm thinking to take out my extensions, tape and extensions, maybe tomorrow. I'll take them out tomorrow because I have a hair appointment on Friday. And I want to take them out before then just in case there's maybe some glue that I need to... I don't want to do it like the day before. I want to have them out at least a few days before. So I think I'll take them out tomorrow, Tuesday. And I'll film that. Should be easy to remove because I have removed the two that I had up here. They came out no problem. I'm really excited for my hair appointment. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the hair. I do want to lighten it. Like, I used to always have blonde hair and I told myself I wouldn't go back to blonde. Although, you can see that my roots are coming in. I'll show it tomorrow. It almost looks like I have gray hair. <laughs> because my dirty blonde roots are coming in. And with the dark hair, it's just so much maintenance. And if I'm not able to color my own hair or make it to the salon, like if we're traveling, whatever. Blonde hair, I can get away with like a balayage type look, whereas with brown and dirty blonde roots, it's it's not really a good look, so. That's kind of my thinking behind trying to go back to blonde, but we will see, so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.